Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. So today is Wedding Wednesday. As we said, every Wednesday up until our wedding, I am going to post a wedding related video. And today is a really exciting one because it's a big haul of all the bits I've been collecting for the last few months. So if you'd like to see the things I've got for our wedding, then keep on watching. Right, I actually don't even know where to begin because I am currently surrounded by so many bits. But let's just start with this first, shall we? This is a little wishing tree that I picked up from the range. I got it online and it was really cheap. It's actually quite tall, as you can see. I think this is about a metre and a half tall, but it's just gorgeous. It plugs into mains, so it's not battery operated. And it's just got all these little kind of like strands coming off it and branches. And what I plan on doing is printing off lots of little Polaroid pictures and attaching it to this, almost like a wishing tree, but more like a kind of family photo gallery. There's so many pictures of us and the kids that I just absolutely adore and I think this would be a lovely way to display them on the day. So I'm going to take this with me and decorate it but you'll see that in another DIY video very soon. I think this was about £30. It wasn't much more expensive than that anyway. It was definitely between 20 and 30 so that was an absolute bargain. The next thing I picked up were these little frames and I say little, they're actually quite big. These frames are exactly what I was looking for but everywhere I looked for them they're about £15 each and what I wanted to use these for was to put our table numbers in because it's just the exact kind of look I'm looking for. So it's this kind of like Rococo, Damask, vintage style frame and these are also from the range and they were £5 each, not even reduced, just £5 each. So I got 10 of these and I know for a fact I can then use them again. They're actually really sturdy as well, they're not like really plasticky, they're quite heavy and I just think these with like a simple table number in them would be perfect for our day. And the last thing that I got for the range just to kind of tie in with that sort of vintage look was this big huge mirror and what I plan on doing is putting our whole table plan on that so I'm going to get it printed out and literally just stick the table plan in the centre of this mirror. It's absolutely gorgeous and again wasn't super expensive. I think this is again under £30. For all the bits and pieces I got from the range, the 10 picture frames, the little wishing tree and then also the mirror. It was about £100 in total, which is funny because I actually looked at another mirror that was £100 and almost got it. So yeah, the range is amazing. It's that shop you go into with not any need to get anything and end up spending a fortune. So I do recommend you go online so you can actually restrain yourself. The next thing I'm going to show you is arguably my favourite thing that I've got in this whole haul and it is my wedding shoes. I bought myself the Jimmy Choo Romy Ballet Pumps in this kind of blush colour and I am absolutely obsessed with them. They are so soft. And the one thing I noticed is I actually need to make sure that a couple of days before the wedding I don't have them sitting in the box because they do kind of like mark where they've been pressed. So I'll need to make sure I take them out of the box. But just if anyone is looking to get a pair of these type of shoes or designer shoes for their wedding day, definitely go up at least half a size because these are a size 6 and I'm always a 5. But the size 5 would have been far too tight. So yeah, they are so comfy. They're a nice height and they're probably not like traditional wedding shoes just because of the colour. But you can't see them underneath my dress anyway. Anyway, so I thought it was best to get something that I can wear again. There's no point in just getting satin shoes for the day and then never wearing them again. So you probably see these on me with jeans and like little blouses going nights out. But yeah, I definitely think these are an investment piece and I'm really looking forward to wearing them on the day. So for the morning of the wedding, obviously the girls and I will be getting ready, getting our hair and our makeup done. And I know that people like to get nice dressing gowns for the day. So I went to my favourite dressing gown company called Dainty Robes and they have made up all of our dressing gowns for us. So I'll show you Ella's first one. It's absolutely gorgeous. This says flower girl on the back of it and hers is a kind of fluffy material which is gorgeous. It's fleecy and really, really soft. And then on the front of it, it says Ella and this lovely silver thread. It's just really gorgeous and nice and soft. And this will also be nice for her to wear at home just to remember the day. And then I'm also going to be wearing white the same as Ella because obviously I'm the bride. So I got the new initials AR on here because my second initial just now is F. So I've got AR and then on the back of it it says bride. So I'll open it up and show you. So just in this lovely kind of silver grey thread it says bride. And I got this in the kind of waffle style because I think that if we got the big toweling material we would be absolutely roasting on the morning and we do not want to be sweating off our hair and makeup. So yeah, I got the white one for myself and then for my mum and my bridesmaids I got a gorgeous kind of salmon pink colour. These are all rolled up lovely just now, I don't want to unroll them all so this is my friend Ailey's one, EF and on the back of it it says bridesmaid and then the same one for my mum says KF and on the back of it it says mother of the bride so yeah I just think this colour is so perfect, it's so pretty, it's not too pink and it's not too kind of peachy, it's just perfect, it's the exact colour I was looking for 
and I think the pictures will look so gorgeous when we've all got our matching robes on. So yeah, I absolutely love dainty robes. It's a working mummy who is just doing so well. So yeah, I'll link everything down below from all the shops that I've got these things from, guys, because yeah, they're just amazing. Always nice to support young shops as well. So yeah. Next shop that I'm going to show you is one of my favourites and it's Candel & Co. My house is always smelling like Candel & Co because they do the most amazing wax melts. So on our wedding day, if you've watched the How I'm Planning My Wedding video, you'll know that I'm going to have candles on every table on the wedding day so that we can get a nice scent in the room and then when we come home and burn that same scent again, it will remind us of the wedding day. So these are the candle sizes probably, maybe a bit bigger. These ones are the candles we're going to have sitting in the middle of the tables. So this one was sent to me just as a kind of trial and it says bride to be, which by the way is a lovely gift if you know someone getting married. So again, I'll link everything below. And this one, the scent I had was pink Prosecco, which was amazing. And it's not the scent I'm getting for the day, but it's still amazing. I'm using this to like store different bits in just now because I finished it. But yeah, I'm going to have 10 of these maybe 12, two for the top table as well. And yeah, they're going to look amazing on the day. And also they're going to say like Fraser Nash's wedding in um, March 2018, something like that on them. So that it kind of is more personalized to the day. So yeah, I'm going to have loads of these. And then as wedding favors, I'm going to have the little wax melts to give out to all the guests. So as you can see on here, it says Candle and & Co. And the scent on it is called Dam Glow. But ours is going to have like a kind of marble effect sticker on it, saying like Ashley and Fraser read like March 2018, I think that's what we said anyway. So yeah, they are going to say that on them and I think the scent we've gone for is, I think it's Pomegranate Noir, I think it is anyway, I'll need to double check it, but to be honest, you could literally pick any one of their fragrances. They smell so good and they're so strong and they last forever. So yeah, we're going to have these as our favours. They're going to come in little white pillow boxes and then they're also going to be tied by a nice ribbon as well. So I think that'll look really nice on the day, tying in with all the theme and yeah, just love Candle & Co. Speaking about the table decor, I got these little Tollsbury frames from Ikea because I've seen a really good idea for putting a hashtag on your table so that all the pictures your friends take and if they put them on Instagram or Facebook, if they tag them with your wedding hashtag, you can go back and look at all the pictures. So what I'm planning on doing is kind of DIYing these and decorating them and I've picked up some Sharpie pens. So this one's in a kind of like antique gold just to kind of tie in with those frames that I got and I'm going to write like the Instagram logo on here and then the hashtag that we're using just so that our friends and family know that that's sitting on the table. If you take any pictures on the day, use that hashtag so we can get to see them again. It's just a nice way to kind of keep all the pictures together. And as well, because I'm not really a fan of just this kind of like plastic white frame, what I'm going to do is spray them all as well. So it's great because this part actually comes out. So these two parts of the perspex come out and I can spray them all, leave them to dry and then go back and use the little bits of perspex and I can also write on these like on the table so I'm not having to like balance while I'm writing the hashtag name. So I think I've got 10 of these, they're really cheap, I think they were about a pound, they were really cheap. So yeah, love these tools with frames and I think again I could use these again in the future for something else if I just use one of the perspex sheets and then keep them for then using for pictures. This is just currently holding all of my other Tollsby frames in it just for storage. I picked up this little wire rose gold basket and what I was planning on doing was getting some just plain white flip flops from like Primark or somewhere really cheap like that and filling them in here because you know what it's like at the end of parties and weddings. Everyone gets sore feet and I can't stand when people start dancing in their bare feet. First of all, it freaks me out. And secondly, I always think if there's glass or something on the floor, you're going to cut your feet or someone's going to stamp on them. So yeah, I think some flip flops is definitely a must and I'm going to put them in this little basket and sit them near the dance floor. So if anyone is giving up on their heels, they can just grab a pair and help themselves. I also got a couple of bits to decorate our honeymoon lodge just so that we wake up in the morning and feel like it's still the party is going on. So I got these little pom-poms um, from Poundland and they're really good. You just make them up yourself. You literally just open them all out, fluff them all up. I'll probably do these like days before and keep them in bags and then you can just hang them up around the place just to have that kind of like party feel. And again, because I want to keep the day going, I've got this just married sign that I'm going to put in the door of our cabin because I think that'll look really nice and we can get a nice picture at it and stuff like that. So yeah, another one from Poundland, their wedding stuff is amazing, but 
if you see it you need to get it because they always sell out. Another little Poundland sign here is just this little wedding sign. I thought I could maybe put this somewhere close to where the actual wedding door is because it is like a kind of shared area. I don't want people to kind of get confused and don't know where they're going so yeah I love this plus it tied in with all our colours as well and yeah that was also Poundland so it was only just a pound I thought why not just pick it up. And because I've challenged myself with the task of making our wedding cake I needed to get some bits that were going to decorate it and make it look a bit nicer. I'm going for something really plain and the bottom tier I'm going to make real cake and then the next few tiers are just going to be like artificial just sort of like dummy tiers so I thought what I would do is get some bits to decorate it and make it look really nice so I picked these up from Home Bargains and they are just like a diamante trim but I just like the fact they look like little kind of leaves if that makes sense so it's like little diamantes and then like two little leaves going off from each side and either that what I was going to do was maybe put them around the bottom of each tier just to kind of have like almost like a rim or like a ribbon just to separate each tier I think that'll look really nice and even if I don't use them just now they can always be put in Ella's like craft box or something but yeah I really like these I thought they were really pretty and I suppose you could say this is the last thing that I've actually bought for myself which are hair extensions now obviously my hair's really long it's not like I need it for the length but all of the styles that I love for my wedding hair on Pinterest really need you to have loads of hair so the best ones I've seen are these ones from Milk and Blush and they're amazing. I've had them in before and I've also got lovely tones through them. So I would actually take them all out but I've put them in this part of the box here and I don't want to unravel them all. But they don't have lots of colours to pick from which is a good thing because it's almost like the colours they've got just blend so well into most hair colours. So I just picked this online. I'll leave the colour that I went for in case any of you are interested. But what I thought was so good about buying these online is that when it comes in this box, first of all, you can store them in this. But when you open this up, it's got like a little trial bit here. So basically what it says is read this first. There's one of your hair wefts here to try against your hair and see if it matches in. If it doesn't match in, send it back. And obviously they can exchange it for the ones that you actually need. But as soon as you open this part with the rest of the hair in, that's you, you've got to keep them. So you do actually get a bit to try against your hair, which is really good. And the quality of them is amazing. Obviously they've been treated with like silicone and everything, but they are just so amazing. It's real hair and they're so easy to work with. I've actually already styled them because I don't want them to look brand new and fresh on the day. I want them to look like my own hair. So yeah, I'm actually been using them, wearing them and making them feel as if they're like my own hair. I went for the full head set and it's £100 but I'm pretty sure that there's loads of discount codes online. I was just too hasty and just bought them because I really needed them for a hair trial. So yeah, I paid £100 for them. They come with the clips on them and these are the triple weft ones so they are really super thick as well which is great. I'm not going to show you Ella's dress for the wedding because I feel like hers is almost as special as mine and we should just keep it a surprise for the day. But the one thing I will show are her shoes as well. They are just gorgeous. They're from a company called Paisley of London. That's the designer. But the actual website is called Rocco Clothing. I spoke about this in the other video I did about planning the wedding. And that is where her dress is from as well. They are just a beautiful company. The stuff comes so fast, like next day delivery. And they all come in like little suit carriers and big padded hangers. It's just such an amazing company and really good quality. So I'll show you the shoes. She's got to go with her dress. They are very neutral, so they're not going to give much away. But also, how lovely is this? When you open it up, there's this really thick card inside. And it's like a to and from, like almost like a gift card that you can write out to someone if you buy them as a gift. Now, these weren't really expensive, these shoes. I'm actually going to tell you the price after you've seen them because I don't think you'll quite believe it. But these shoes are just amazing. Look at these. They're like pearlescent, sort of blush pink. But these laces tie all the way up her legs like a ballerina shoe. They're just stunning. They've got these little kind of gold pinheads on them as well. They are just stunning shoes. I'm absolutely obsessed with them and so is she because she loves that film Ballerina just now. So when she seen them she was like dying to put them on. So yeah I've got these for her and I'm pretty sure these were £15.99. You won't pay that for a pair of shoes in next for £15.99 so they are just so reasonably priced but all of the dresses and things all come in their own little like suit carriers and we've actually got an outfit for Charlie for his birthday. So it's a three piece suit with like a little dicky bow and stuff and that again came with like a big padded hanger, a suit carrier and yeah I'm just so impressed with that company. Just notice this, how cute is the little heel on that? I just love these, they're so nice. These are in a size 9 I think which are a little bit big for her just now so I just hope on the day they fit her well but yeah. 
we've got like two months to go so who knows what will happen in that time i also bought my bridesmaids their shoes and their bag and their jewelry so i'm going to show you what i've got them and it's these nine west shoes which i just love they're actually very similar to the shoes that i've got in terms of the shape i love a court shoe i always think it works really well and these are their shoes here. How lovely are those? They are basically the same colour as my shoes and the same shape. But they've got all these gorgeous big pearls on the front with like rose gold. I just think these are so stunning. And I hope the girls like them just as much as I do. If they don't, I'm quite happy to take Ailey's from her because they're the same size as my feet. But these ones are Melissa's and she was only like a little size 3. So that's why they look so tiny. And yeah, I absolutely love these. They're 9 waist and I also managed to get them a matching bag. Which is also 9 waist. Now, to be honest with you, I don't imagine them like carrying this bag about with them going down the aisle and stuff. But I just feel like they need to have somewhere to put their things and maybe give it to like their partners or someone else at the wedding. So yeah, I thought to get the bag and shoes together to match, even for when they use them in the future, going in nights out or something, which is the best way to do it because then they don't have the hassle of trying to find something that's going to coordinate. So I just love this. It's got all the big pearls on and the gold detail and a little wrist strap that you can take off. Even if they use it as like a little makeup pouch, I just think this is so lovely. And yeah, it's always nice to have the matching set of things, isn't it? And also for my girls, probably one of the things I'm most excited to give them is their jewellery because it's so personal. You guys will know I'm a massive fan of Mercy My Mam jewellery. So I've got a necklace from them and I'm obsessed with it. I absolutely love it. In fact, I've not even got it on today, <laughs> which is unusual because I've just come out of the shower and stuff. So I've not put all my jewellery on, no earrings, no watch or anything. But how nice is the packaging? That gorgeous orange packaging is just it's so lovely. It gets me so excited. So I will show you what they have. Now, as you can see, these are personalised earrings with a little L on, and these are for my sister-in-law, Lauren, and I just think these are going to be so gorgeous. Now, the gold part here is where the actual piercing part of the earring is, so that's the part that's going to be sitting central, and then just offset from that, the little pearly part is going to be sitting at the side. I just absolutely love these, and don't you think that that shape just ties in so well with the shoes, like the little kind of circle detail? I think these are so lovely, and again, they're just lovely and personal, the fact that they can keep them and remember that these were from our wedding day so yeah cannot wait for them to wear these on the day and also I'm going to have their hair kind of sitting back so you can see them I think they'll suit every one of them so yeah I love these earrings and to go with that I'm not going to go for any necklaces because their dress is quite high here and I just feel like it will actually detract from the look of their dress so what I'm doing instead is giving them all bracelets and it is the matching bracelet to go with the earrings. Here is the bracelet. It's so delicate and so gorgeous. And then on the other side, this one has got an E on it for Ailey, which is upside down. But this is for Ailey and I just think they'll love these. The fact that they'll have like their flowers and just this lovely little detail on their wrist, I think it's going to look so, so elegant. And yeah, I hope they love them just as much as I do. So yeah, I've got three sets of earrings and three bracelets to give them on the day, as well as their shoes and their bags and everything else. <laughs> so guys, I hope I've not missed anything out because I tried very hard to have that in some kind of order where I would like basically do a conveyor belt along this table of all the stuff I've got. But if you enjoyed watching, I would love if you hit subscribe to stick around for next week's video because like I say, it's wedding Wednesday. Every Wednesday until our wedding day, there will be something growing on my channel related to our big day. If you're getting married, I'd love to hear your thoughts on all the things I've picked. And if you think I've missed anything out as well, also please give me your advice because I would really appreciate it. There's so much to consider and so much to organise and I've always got that feeling that I've forgotten something. So yeah, do me a favour and tell me if there's anything you think that I've missed out. On that subject actually, I know that I've not got my jewellery yet, but it is on its way. Dress has been collected, veil has been collected, all that kind of thing. So yeah, in terms of that stuff, we're almost done. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching guys. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you did like it and I will see you very soon. Bye! Mm -hmm.